In this episode, we're going to look at installing a Pop! OS virtual machine. Let's get started. I've already set up VirtualBox, and so we'll just hit start to get moving on this. It is taking the full screen, which not all Linux install utilities do. So we're going to go with English, US, English, US. Fault layout, clean install, and we're using the one hard drive that I added. And we're not going to encrypt this since it's just going to be for demonstration purposes. All right, so this is going to take a few minutes. I will be back. Once this installation has reached the next step. Okay, we've reached the end of the install. We will restart our device. I'll be right back in just a moment again. So we are back in part two of the installer it reboots the welcome screen we'll click next and we are set to u.s english keyboard next privacy we're going to turn off location services on his own Or Detroit that's closest to me next we're not going to connect online accounts at this point go with my standard username next and I use this password for videos And we can start using Pop! OS. All right, we are back in our Pop! OS. And before I messed it up before, we were taking a look at our options in the corner here. Wired connection, on off, wired settings, lock, sleep, power off, which really I think they could have combined somehow. System settings. All the standard stuff, see what backgrounds they've included. Like these kind of isometric looking backgrounds. The cartoony stuff is okay, but not really my thing okay so notifications lock screen notifications is off pop-ups is on the application notifications search regional language universal access so you got your high contrast large text all that kind of fun stuff in here on-screen keyboard our online accounts that we skipped in the install process. Privacy. Lock screen. Location services is off. Problem reporting is set to never. Where are options? And this is for sending to Canonical. Since this is Ubuntu based. We've got sharing. Screen sharing is off. We can turn that on up here. Okay, networks, wired connection one. New connections must ask for access, require password. Potentially play with this in a future video. Sound, standard stuff there. Power, Wi Fi can be turned off to save power. 
Okay. Uh, network connected VPN stuff. Point to point tunneling protocol. You can add a VPN or um, you can set up point to point tunneling protocol or import from file network proxy devices. Let's see if it finds my printer on the network. And the 5370 is my printer. Printer settings. Let's see if things like Control Alt T work for terminal. Does not appear so. We may have locked it up. Okay, we've booted back up. And we'll go back in and see if our printer is there or not. Okay. So we are here, settings, printer, and it's going to go through the search again, 5370, add, okay, we're not going to try the additional printer settings quite yet. All right, so. Uh, coming back to activities, got terminal, run a command as administrator, use the root, use sudo command, uh, pretty standard. Updates available, and I'll go ahead and run updates, and we'll say update. all password show applications we got our standard gnome style office i kind of like what they've done with this see which version they're packing in these days Six point one point twenty one. That that's impressive. They're including that newer version. All right. Well, let's see what our updates are doing. Okay. Well, let that run. So overall, I am pretty impressed with what's been done with pop os up to this version i do want to try this printer thing again personal opinion i think this is more polished than the standard ubuntu desktop i would be very tempted because i've got a machine i need to reinstall here shortly i would be very tempted to put this on that amd quad core machine i've got and do a little more in-depth testing with it. See what I can do with this. I'm also going to be interested to see if this is a bug with the printer that it claims to be added and seems odd that you can't add a printer. Detects the printer, certainly not keeping it once you've added it. Terminal not responding. This is some rather odd behavior. Now granted this is just been released in the last couple of days and still this comes back no printers configured yet okay well i think we can claim defeat on the printer issue at the moment should i figure this out i will be happy to bring it up in another episode but given the time we've spent on this already i want to wrap it up uh, again Minor issues aside, I think Pop OS 18.10 is very nice looking. It surely has a little more polish on it than the standard Ubuntu uh, GNOME interface, but there do seem to be a few little problems. We'll see if these get worked out with a future update. Until those are worked out, I would recommend if you're running this. And on any machine other than a virtual machine, 
that you stick with the LTS version, the 1804 version. I will wrap things up here. This is Jeremy signing off for Practical IT. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and click the bell icon to receive updates from YouTube when I release new content. If you have suggestions for future videos, please feel free to leave them down below. Until next time, thank you again for watching. Have a great day.